go, go, let me 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 go. Welcome back to my next episode on Subnautica. I am Mar, and today we've got something of a bit of an explorative episode, I guess, uh, ahead of us. I am just waiting for this power cell to finish charging. It's almost there. We're at 96%. Uh, our power, it is just now getting back to being uh, daytime, but it was running overnight, and the station was more than sufficient to keep it going. I mean, we didn't lose power in the long haul, but uh, it, it didn't completely drain us. We could still do other things if we needed to, and that is one completely charged up power cell, so I'm gonna snag that. Um, there's not really a whole lot I, I have to grab before we go. I, I might top off uh, on food there, but I've already got batteries. I've got some water in water food and more first aid kits in our prawn suit right over there um i just wanted to grab this battery or this power cell before we headed out um today i want to explore wrecks out there in the deep well some places are deep anyway deep ocean there are a total of 23 large wrecks and about a dozen small wrecks um now some of them especially the small ones have things that we've already found elsewhere or you know they have duplicates so we won't actually have to explore all of them in order to get everything basically that we need now i've got my second computer set up next to me with a list of all of the wrecks because like like I've said before, I have played this game before. It's not really any big secret to me, the things that are in the game. Um, so for, for this playthrough, I'm just trying to give a complete, a, like a complete playthrough while still hitting up all the story elements and all that fun stuff. So I want to explore all these places. I don't want to just try and guess and try and remember where they're all located. I know they're out there, but I mean, it's, I, I don't have it memorized, you know? Um, now if you are you know, one of my fans from uh, Minecraft, from the my Minecraft series, and that, if that's how you found me, then you'll be well familiar with the F3 screen in Minecraft, where you can find out your coordinates. Well, in Subnautica, that's F1, and you just, it, it pretty much tells you the same sort of data, um, but the ones that we're most interested in is the camera world position, and uh, also the camera batch, if you, if you need it. The batch is basically like the chunk. So you can see that there on the side of the screen there. We're at, uh, our position is negative 28 by 287. We're at a depth of 6.8 meters, which, is, which matches the 6 meters at the top of the screen. Um, and that's what we're going to be using to help us locate these wrecks. Because I do have the wrecks uh, coordinates on the screen next to me. Um, we're not going to be hitting all of them by any stretch of the imagination in this episode, but we're going to try and hit as many as we can, um, and we'll just see how it goes. So uh, the first thing that we're going to be checking out is the the, um, the smaller wrecks, because they tend to be mostly local, uh, largely centered around the kelp forest nearby and the grassy plateaus and the sa uh, the, sha the blah, blah, I can't say it, the safe shallows that are right around us. Uh, so those are the ones we're going to head for next. Uh, for first and I'm gonna quickly figure out which one is closest to our current position and then I'll I'll be right back with the coordinates well that was easier than I thought I, I should have well thank you I, sh I really should have realized this right off the bat um, there's one that's actually right next to us that I have passed on numerous occasions um, I think I I'm not sure if this rubbish here counts, uh, but I know there is actually a piece of the Aurora. Like, see, this this is kind of like a like a an incredibly minuscule uh, wreck right here. Um, but I don't actually know if it has anything. Most of this stuff, I think, we've already found just because we've been in the proximity because of our base. So I think this is one wreck we can actually just instantly call complete. But I know there is another one around here somewhere. I'm trying to see if I can't spot it. I've seen it before down here somewhere. I'm not 100, I feel like, I wanna say it's over, is that it right there? Is that it, this thing sticking? Yeah, this is it. I was like, I knew it was like right on the edge of the of the kelp. Ooh, stalker tooth. I'll take that, thank you. All right, so this is the wreck. The, this is how wrecks, ooh, another stalker tooth. All right, this is, is that an, another, oh my word, there's another stalker tooth. What is going on here, boys? You guys leaving your teeth all over the floor. Any others? I don't think so. 
I think it's just those three, which is uh, still quite a bit more than I would have thought to just find sitting here. Anyway, the way these wrecks usually work is uh, sometimes, I mean, it's basically like the Aurora. Sometimes, PK Fragment, you mean it's been here the whole time and I didn't know? Oh, I wanted that. Acquired. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, these almost always involve needing the laser cutter or the repair tool, usually the laser cutter, I think, um, to help get inside of them. So let's pop this thing open, see what we can find inside. It takes it a moment. Slowly. Getting there. Almost there. Come, come on. Ain't got all day. There we go. Alright, so, well, I can immediately see we have a PDA. Do it. Flashlight, uh, ooh, we've got a, we've got a little tunnel here. T tunnel goes somewhere. All right, all right. Uh, let's grab the PDA. All right. Integrating new PDA data. Something about the Degasi, Bart Torgal. One of the folks we've been listening to a lot recently. Nothing there. All right. So let's see where this leads. Now we do need to kind of keep an eye on our oxygen. Thankfully this one's so small, it just leads straight outside. So in this case, we, I guess we probably didn't even, there's another stuck or two, but okay then. Uh, we probably didn't even need to cut into it, but that's the bit, that's the general concept anyway. Um, so let's pop back in here and take a look at this manifest. I don't know if it's a voice log. I don't think it is, but we can double check. Uh, okay. Search and rescue mission, Bart Torgal. He's the vice president of Torgal Corp. I didn't know that. Lost in space, age at time of disappearance, 19. Wait, he's a he's a vice president at night. Man, they're ambitious. Only legitimate child of Paul Torgel, beneficiary of enhanced learning techniques and cerebral implants. Wow, they are way ahead. Digi-trained? I don't even know what that means. Di I'm assuming digitally trained in advanced biochemistry and stellar economics. Emissary Kassar, uh, we heard from him. Previously, I think a reports Bart was accompanying his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five-year term as chief operating officer Well good for him 19 hmm. All right. Well, that's pretty much all this one has to offer. So that's basically how this is gonna go I'm gonna look down the list find the next closest one and we're gonna head there Oh Yeah <laughs> That was a good timing hit <laughs> Punched him right in the face, and I didn't even lose a shred of, of durability on my on the prawn suit. Uh huh, uh huh. Anyway, I'm gonna take a look down the list. I'm gonna pick one out. Uh, I'll try and share the coordinates as we do them. Um, but I needed uh, what I need to do first is check the list and see if we've already gotten the stuff for it. Like I'm pretty sure the rubbish over there on the side of the hill. I'm pretty sure that actually does count as a as a. Uh, a ruin or wreck, uh, but obviously I don't think we need it anymore. So let me quickly take a look and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so the next wreck we're going to be visiting is over here in the grassy plateaus. And I made a bit of a discovery. I We can skip all of the small wrecks. They're scattered literally all over the place and we've probably already hit them all. And everything that they have to offer we've already gotten. So there's really no point to look at them except for sightseeing purposes. So I'm just going to skip them entirely. Aha! Aha! Yeah, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. So this is the first one. We're at approximately, like, ballpark figure around 300 by 425 or, you know, whatever rounding you want to do there. Now this one is, uh, as you can see, we're in a grassy plateau. This one has quite a number of things that we can pick up, um, including two data boxes and some potential decoration items, picture frame. I think we already got that. Uh, there's a poster in here. Now there is one ruin out here, Rec that I, I've tried in every in both my previous playthroughs to get the poster and it just won't come off the stinking wall. There's also a backpack in here, those little crates of resources, and we're definitely going to want to get those um, at, as, as much as we can. So we're going to want to keep an eye out. Um, so first thing I do when I'm exploring one of these things is I search around the perimeter, um, just trying to see if there's anything that is uh, out here to scan that I maybe don't have already. Like this, you, you might be like, well, what's this? It says scanner room fragment. Yeah, I found scan, and I already have the whole scanner room, so I don't need that. Uh, all it'll give me at this point is titanium, and I don't want to clog up my inventory. This is a bioreactor fragment. I already have that. Uh, some of these I've already checked in my inventory, just trying to keep track of them. 
All right, so what we need to do here is look for an entrance. Uh, we're looking for hatchways that are open, doors we can cut through. Some doors we just have to open by going up and pushing them open. Not seeing, ooh, or a hole in the wall. I'll, no, all right, I'll, I'll take a hole in the wall. That's that's fine with me. Water. Ooh, we can scan basic uh, plant pot. All right, and a plant shelf. All right. Like, these are unnecessary blueprints, but we'll grab them anyway. Occupation station got that. Ooh, here we go. Data box. Lightweight, high-capacity tank. Alright. Alright, um, right, we're kind of low on oxygen. Let's uh, take a quick pop out and get some more. Backpack. Ooh, battery charger. We need that. Vehicle upgrade console. Sweet. Alright, I don't see anything here so let's head back i know there was a poster on the wall over here i saw it we'll grab that and it's just another exit all right i think we've explored this entire one so let me hop in the uh, prawn suit and we'll head off to the next one okay so this one is at approximately 350 by 200 negative 200 that is to say um this one we don't really need to stop at. Uh, there's no recipes we can really pick up here, but it's kind of on the way to the next one anyway. And hypothetically, there's supposed to be backpacks in here. Nothing. Well, I feel cheated now. I don't see no backpack. What a load of hogwash. Seek fluid intake. Cause, uh... Oh, I hear our friend. He's out there somewhere. Should we get a peek of him? This is a really bad idea. <gasps> That's him right there. That's him right there. direction which is not good because that's that's the direction he came from that's the direction I'm hearing oh no he's in the direction of base <gasps> that's him that's him oh no well at least we're like 600 meters 700 meters away from base okay I'm gonna risk it real fast. Calorie intake recommended. All right, all right. <gasps> no! Wrong button. Get out of that. Oh, 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 no! I hit the wrong button. Nope, get over, get over, get over. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, go that way. You don't belong this way. Oh no, he turned around. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We need to get out of here. We can't let him... Just sit here, just sit here. Nope, he sees us. He sees us. No! 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 We're in the same shallows! You can't be in the same shallows! No! 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 I don't want you in the- No! I don't want you in the same shallows! Get in the same shallows! I am booking it! Oh no! Oh no! Seek 
The safe shallows are not safe anymore. <gasps> I see him! I see him! I see him! No! Just don't move. Just don't. We're not here. We're that is alarming. Dude, you, you jump huge out of the water. The thing is, we don't want him going that way towards our base. All right. I wonder if we could lure him that way. Come here, you idiot. You're not supposed to be over here. Can we come this way, please? All right, boy. Bring it. Bring it. Where are you? Is he wandering further away? No. Do I just leave him? I don't want him here. Yes. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, he's distracted by something else. Dude, you blind or what? Did I put an eye out? What are you so fascinated with over there? There you are. Hello. No, I, I need to be on this side of you. Oh no. Dodge. This way. Go this way. Yes, this way. Yes, yes. <gasps> wow, that was crazy. Man, you twist around. Come on. Keep chasing. You're not even chasing. How am I supposed to do this if you won't chase? Well, we do have another option here, and I don't like it. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Yes, 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 yes. Nope, 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 you missed, you missed. There we go. No, don't turn around. No, don't turn around. Take us, take us back to the, take us back to your place. Where are we? Oh no! Oh no! We're even closer to the, no! No, no, dude! You went the wrong way! We're even closer to base! You can't go to base! <sighs> so, all right, all right, all right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. All right, gonna tuck you here. Have us a drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Really? Go away. You are chump change right now. I don't want to die. Okay, we're going to stash this and this. I'm going to grab that and that. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and... No, we're going to put that back, actually. We will grab this. That's not going to do us any good. If he gets us, he's going to swallow us in one go. I'm going to put the power cell in there. That's a good idea. All right, I'll take the batteries. Uh, not going to need that. Not going to need that. Not going to need this. Or this. Um. Okay. This is stupid. <laughs> Hello. Hello. There you are. Hi. Hi. Hello. Nope. I'm missing. I'm missing. I need to not miss. Just got 
got mega lucky. My heart is in my throat. I'm trying not to choke over it right now. No! No, 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 no! Well, bye bye, life. It didn't even show me getting swallowed. I'm disappointed now. I feel gypped. <sighs> you died. I didn't lose anything, though, because I stored everything I had. Really? Go away. Don't rub it in! Is he still out there, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, no! He is still out here! Alright, well, I'll keep going, then. I'll keep going! If he ain't despawned, that means the damage should still be there. Oh, dear. Hello. No. Oh, man, that was close. So now I need to get a screenshot, so let's see. F6, uh, put away the knife. F6. Nope, nope. There we go. Let's see. Uh, let's get him in the background. Well, not, not if he keeps moving. Oh, oh, no! You're ruining my picture here, dude! Ooh, it's right there, right there. Boop. Nope, nope. You made a mess on his face. You can't even see he's there. I have to wait for the smoke to dissipate. There we go. Maybe one of these will be good. I don't know. All right. Well, that's uh, that's a diversion, and I have. Oh, we need oxygen. Now I need to get back to my prawn suit and see if we can't somehow get at least a few more wrecks before calling the end of the episode. Maybe I'll just give the light version. I have no idea how long that took to kill him or how much footage I'll end up keeping in. Cause I mean, it was like. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Okay, so this next Rex is approximately negative 40 by negative 400, uh, which appears to be this right here. There's really only one thing we're looking for here, and it's an abandoned PDA. Um, it's basically the manifest uh, for Paul Torgel. So we already got uh, his son, Bart. Um, now we've got Paul, and I just realized I didn't even grab all my stuff out of the storage after our victory. So let's grab that and that and that. Let's grab a water and a food and the med pack just to have them on here and the propulsion cannon. Sure, why not? All right, open sesame, and there's our PDA. Sweet, and I don't see any secret places. I mean, uh, I mean, we guess we could repair this five, four, three. Okay, we'll just barely be able to repair it. And yeah, I can see that goes nowhere. Yep. All right. The the manifests don't appear to have any voice uh, activity, just description of the character, so we don't really need to read it. But if you want to, just go ahead and pause at any time here and help yourself. Okay, this next one is almost directly south of us in the grassy plateaus down here. We've got an abandoned PDA to grab. Um, it says battery charger fragments. I can't remember if we finished battery charger fragments or not. Um, are we say? No, we got about 200 blocks to go. Or two blocks. <laughs> meters, whatever, you know, coordinates. Oh man, I'm seeing, I'm seeing backpacks all over. I'll take water. I'll take another water. PDA. Excellent. Battery charger. Can't remember if we got this or not. I guess we're about to find out. Yes, we got it. We, I mean, we got it now anyway. Um, let's see, laser cutter. Oh, there we go. All 
Alright, looks like that just looped us in a circle, so... Yeah. Alright, done with this place. Uh, on to the next one. Well, we did have that PDA. Hang on. What was that PDA for? Public Documents. Transgov Profile Mongolian Independent States. Oh, it's just a description of... Uh, it's just history stuff. Um, so if you want to read that, go ahead and pause. If not, we're going to be moving on. Alright, this next one is almost directly northwest of the previous one at approximately negative 400 by negative 250, give or take. Um, it is in the grassy plateaus. I'm trying to do my compute, do both my computers at once here. I'm driving with one and researching with the other. Oh, here we go. Okay, so battery charger, we already got that beacon. Bioreactor, swivel chair, command chair, data box. Ooh, data box, that's gonna be important. Um, desk, laser cutter, mobile vehicle bay, propulsion cannon, scanner room, backpacks. Okay, so the only thing we care about here is the data box and the backpacks. And I believe, is this it right here? I think this is it right here. This looks about right to me. Ah. Data box. And unfortunately, it's one we already had from somewhere else. I wish they wouldn't do that. I don't see any backpacks again. I feel cheated. All right. 30 seconds. I know, I know, I know. All right, once again, the next one is more or less northwest. Slightly more of an emphasis on north, I think. The uh, coordinates will be approximately negative 650-ish by zero, actually. Is that it right there? That honking? Oh, my word. It's the biggest one in the game, I think. Well, one of the biggest ones. Definitely the biggest one in the easy areas of the game. This thing is mahusive. This has got... Uh, let's see, what have we got here? Two abandoned PDAs, blah, 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 blah. A data terminal, we're gonna wanna get that, blah, 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 blah. Picture, for, no, we already got that. Poster, I think this is the poster you actually can't get off. Uh, prawn suit stuff, uh, which we already have. Backpacks, so two PDAs, a data terminal, and backpacks. And this one is hard to navigate. I don't, I'm pretty sure there's nothing outside that we need. So we just need to find an entrance, which I want to say is actually up here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I see it. I see it. Nope, nope, nope. Go back the other way. Back the other way. So we're on the top. We are on the topmost portion of it. And I'm just going to kind of perch our dude here. And then the entrance is right here in the side of the thing. And we're our battery in the, in the flashlight's about to go kaputty. All right, all right, all right. Um, data terminal. Let's grab that. And it's garbled, of course. All right, just got some air, and I realized that we passed right by the PDA. So here it is. So we got the uh, we got the PDA. We got the data terminal. That leaves just the data packs. Another PDA. Oh, though no, it was two PDAs and one data pack. And here's a whole bunch of backpacks. That's right. Grab that. Grab that. Glad I realized. I'm glad I found that. I would have been a mad person later on. I don't see anything else. Here's the poster you can never pick up. Are you gonna let me get it? Nope. Nope. Not meant to be. All right. I don't see the data box. Are we sure the data box is here? I don't see it, and I need oxygen fast. Okay. Have you guys been laughing at me this whole time? It was the data terminal. Two abandoned PDAs. And backpacks. There was never a data box in here. Man, I'm so confused. Alright, well this one's done. Good riddance. Okay, next one. Okay, I take that back. The next one that we were going to go to in the kelp forest is one that we don't really actually need. We have everything from it. There is one data box for the compass, but we already have the compass, so it's not gonna, it's literally gonna do absolutely squat for us. So instead, we're going to be heading to what I believe should be the very last... Oh no, I'm going to miss that. I didn't want to miss it. Just trying to avoid the little pit there. We're going to be going to the very, very, very last uh, of the wrecks on our tour today. Um, here in the, uh, the grassy plateau. I believe it's at the very, well, kind of the northern end of the grassy plateau. The coordinates will be approximately... Oh no negative 400 ish by 650 so we're about we're about 100 meters away or 100 whatever dimensions away and it should be more or less straight north give or take yep there it is right here all right and 
this one here, which I actually haven't looked yet, has what for us? Negative 300, yep, 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 here we go. Alright, battery charger, bioreactor, swivel chair, desk, laser cutter, mobile vehicle bay. Oh, backpacks, that's apparently it, so okay. I'll take backpacks, I won't, I won't complain. I'll take backpack. I guess I'm good. Another power cell. Backpack. Water. Alright, well, I'll take it. Looks like we gotta cut through that, too. More backpack, more water. What is with all of the water? Wide open door. Makes me feel like, uh, opening this other one was kind of a waste. Okay, so we got a laser cut door, and I've got a tunnel. Let's see. Tunnel's a dead end. Let's see what's through here. And then we're gonna wrap up the episode because I have absolutely no how, no idea how long it was, how long it's gone on. I don't know how long the fight took with the Leviathan, and I figured the less talking I do, the more footage I can actually keep in of the fight with the Leviathan. So let's just get through this door and see what we find. Another backpack, water. All right, not bad, not bad, and that's a dead end. All right, so it is back to base. We get to go bring our hull home um we got some good things we got a lot of water which is actually really good that's excellent you know i'm gonna go ahead and just take one now so i don't drown on the way home um so yeah we got plenty of these we got a poster you know big whoopty do we got a lot of saber or stalker tooths which you know it doesn't really have anything to do with what we were doing here um though on the other hand we did pick up some new recipes like the battery charger that's going to be really important for us um extremely important i would say because we've been, I mean, it's been nice that we've been able to find so many batteries, but we don't, we haven't had a way to recharge them, so we're, we're just piling up dead batteries and running out of good ones. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm going to head back to base over there. I'm going to put all the stuff away, tidy things up, recharge uh, the power cell, because we're down to 20% down there, 19%. It's just going to keep going down. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode and the crazy unexpected fight we had with the Leviathan. I hope you guys keep on coming back for more. We'll continue exploring the wrecks in the harder biomes, which means we're, there are, we're, we're definitely over halfway there, I would say, uh, when you consider all the small wrecks that we didn't even visit. Um, we hit up seven, uh large wrecks no was it seven no i think it was nine two two and five i believe were the numbers that's nine out of 23 so i think we've done pretty good so yeah in the next episode we're just going to keep on exploring and hopefully find some good things apparently we have a broadcast we'll cover that in the next episode as well but i hope you've enjoyed this one i hope you keep on coming back for more like always and until next time i hope you have a fantastic time and i will see you later bye